tried a new spot. There's a few cats. I was actually looking for snook, and I got this guy. Huh. I used to fish here growing up, and I never caught anything out of it, but couldn't resist the fluke. Big bass. Oh, that's a big bass. There's another big bass falling. Big Nineteen inches. It's a pretty fish. Picture of the movie. Not a bad fish. Pretty. Really dark. Dink. Ah. So good. Sweet. 
And guys, what I was doing earlier, I was using a fluke, a white DOA, um, there's a white DOA, uh, I believe it's five inch fluke, and, uh, that's what I was catching a lot of the bass on yesterday, in my previous video, but, uh, before that, I was using one of my favorite lures, it's a rooster tail. Pretty simple, it comes in Walmart in the five pack and you see it's all tore up and losing paint from the fish. The, the hooks broke on, broke on it. And so what I did, is I got a lure I was using and uh, the, hook were, the hook was attached directly to this little circle right here. So I broke the last bit of the hook off that was on here originally, and I just spun the eye out, or the, I don't know, the ring out of, out of my lure and put it on here. So I got a nice sturdy hook now, not worrying about breaking any hooks. And, uh, back to using the rooster tail. I don't know, I, I don't know what it is, but we seem to love it everywhere I go. It's pretty much become my go-to lure. This is just a cheap, you know, they come in, this one came in a five-pack from Walmart, and I've had it for a while, and the only reason I started using it was because uh, I had run out of other lures when I was getting in the artificial, and I had these, and uh, fish liked it. So, started using it, and uh, it's working pretty well for me, catching a lot of fish, got a lot of snooking bass off of it. But yeah, it's a 5-pack from Walmart, I don't remember the brand, but it's been working for me. Ah, you gotta be kidding me.